Hi, I'm Drew Montel with Ernie Ball Music Man Company, here today to talk to you about fretboard conditioning and general neck cleaning. As you can see here, we have a Music Man John Petrucci model that uh, has seen a lot of road use. We have a dried out fingerboard, it's pretty dirty, as well as the back of the neck has a lot of uh, sweat and dirt on the back there. So we've got to clean this neck up. Alright, to get started we're going to need some materials. First we're going to need some oil soap, some gunstock wax, some Ernie Ball Wonder Wipe fretboard conditioner, two grits of sandpaper from your local hardware store, some 1000 grit and 600 grit, and finally some paper towels and masking tape. Okay, so we'll start with the back of the neck. As I said earlier, it's pretty dirty and pretty rough, so we're going to start by taking a clean paper towel, spraying some of the oil soap onto the towel, and wiping off all the dirt. You'll see immediately that the oil soap will start penetrating the neck as well as cleaning it. The neck should start to look a little bit more shiny, a little more rich. And you can see all the dirt that comes off there. Once you can tell the neck is nice and clean, you can let that sit for a little. And while you do so, it'd be a great time to tape up the body for a little bit of light sanding. It'll help to protect the body and to make sure you don't accidentally sand it into the nice polished finish. I'd like to point out that this whole process should not be done on anything but an unfinished neck such as what is found on this guitar here. Okay, now that the neck's taped up, we're going to start with some 600 grit, which is the coarser of the two grits, and sand the neck down, making sure to sand along the grain be very careful, try to stick to the back of the neck. There's no real reason to sand into the fretboard. Around the headstock, you're going to want to be very gentle and very careful as to not get into the headstock wood, for it's not necessary to really sand that down and clean it. And again, on the heel side, you're going to do the same thing. And it's good to take a nice clean towel, wipe off whatever's left from the 600 grit, and move on to your 1000 grit, and do the same thing making sure to sand everything until it's nice and smooth. Be very careful around the headstock and the heel of the neck. Again, once you're done, take your clean paper towel and wipe off all the excess. And you should be able to feel your neck now and it's nice and smooth and it's ready for the gunstock wax. You want to shake it up, make sure it's nice and mixed. And a little bit goes a long way, so you're going to take another clean paper towel and just dab a little bit on the paper towel. And apply evenly across the whole neck. And this is where your neck will start to really shine. The wax will seal in all the natural oils from the soap. and also protect the unfinished neck. And we're going to let that sit for a little while, let the wax dry. Okay, we're back, the wax is dried, and so we're going to take a fresh paper towel, and we're going to wipe up all the excess wax that is not needed. And remove our tape. It's important to use tape that won't damage your finish, such as masking tape or some gaffer's tape will do just fine. And now the back of the neck is ready to go. All right, now to the front side of the neck, where we have our dried out fingerboard. It's got a lot of dirt and grime on it. We're going to use Ernie Ball Wonder Wipe Fretboard Conditioner. Now this is somewhat of a cleaning agent, but mainly it conditions the fretboard. You can see here it's all dried out. We want to get some natural oils back into the wood. Fortunately for us, the neck isn't so dirty that we wouldn't need to use something like the Murphy's Oil Soap again, but uh, we are just able to use the Ernie Ball Wonder Wipe, and that should get most of the dirt off. By scrubbing the neck along the frets, you can get in between every single fret all over the wood. 
and you're going to want to apply a little bit of pressure to make sure all the oils and the cleaner and the conditioning from the Wonder Wipe gets into the wood itself. And you can see immediately there's a lot of dirt on this fingerboard, but it wasn't anything that the Wonder Wipe couldn't take out. I like to generally do two passes just to make sure you get everything off the fingerboard and you get a lot of that conditioning inside. Okay, and we're going to let that sit and wait for most of the conditioner to penetrate the wood. Finally, we'll see some beading up and we'll be ready to wipe off the excess and your neck will be ready to go. Okay, we're back. Uh, you can see here that some of the conditioner has started to beat up on the neck itself. And so what we're going to do is take a clean paper towel and for our final pass, just go through and wipe down the neck just like so. And make sure you get up all of the extra conditioner. You don't want that on your fingerboard when you go to put new strings on. If any of the conditioner happens to get on any of your instrument, that's okay. It won't damage it in any way. Just be sure to wipe it off. And there you have it. Now you have a nice, clean, and conditioned neck, which is ready to go for your next gig after you get some new strings on it. Thanks for watching. I'm Drew Montel with the Ernie Ball Company. Check out ErnieBall.com for more information about our products.